this is McGann the Year 6 to 7 transition coordinator here at St Anthony's and this is your Year 6 parent and carers virtual question and answer session. So this is where I will answer all the questions that were emailed in to me by yourselves and I'll give you a little bit of extra information about September as well. So to start off we had a question about the School Gateway app which is a free app that we use to communicate with parents and carers. There's information on the website now, a parents and carers guide on how to use it. A parent asked when we can register. You should be able to register for it now. Um, if it doesn't work now, for whatever reason, just try again in September so you're ready for when your daughter joins us. There was a question about uniform. Are socks allowed? If so, what colour? And can they be worn all year round? And the answer is yes, they can be worn all year round. It's up to the pupil. Um, socks need to be white or navy, ankle length, no knee high socks. Uh, there is more information about the uniform on the web page, the year 6 to 7 transition section. There's also a section about the pee kit, what it looks like and where you can buy it from. Um, a lot of you will be wondering about uh, data and groupings with SATS not happening this year. So the, what the plan is, is like last year, girls will be in mixed ability groups for the first half term. And during that first half term, we will be using Midius tests, which is a test that girls cannot prepare for. It's about cognitive abilities, so we'll be using them, as well as our teacher assessments from this school and primary schools to set in the um, autumn term later on. So we'll be using lots of different pieces of information, okay? Um, but more information to follow in September. Uh, summer schools, for anyone who is coming to our summer school in the first week, this is a message from Mr Holgate who's running it. Pack lunch is going to be provided, sandwich, yoghurt or jelly, biscuit and drink. Um, you might want to bring a water bottle as well. We have got water fans here, you can top it up. It starts at 10 in the morning but arrive around 9.45 to get signed in. You can arrive any time from 9.15 if you need to get here a little bit earlier and it finishes at about 4 o'clock. Please sign in in the school dining hall, there will be signs everywhere. But if you get lost, just ask someone, there will be plenty of people around. You will not be able to leave any time before 3.45 if you're making your own way home, but you can be collected from the school gates at 4 o'clock if you'd like. Please dress appropriately. Must wear, you must wear proper shoes because of health and safety. You're going to be working in workshops shops and craft rooms. You're going to need protection, so no sandals or sliders. Um, or you can wear a key kit if you're going to be doing a sports activity. It's up to you. Hopefully, if it's a nice day, you'll be eating your lunch on the field, so you might want to bring a hat or sun cream or light clothes if the weather is appropriate. Final letters for the summer school have been slightly delayed, but I have been told by Mr Holgate they're going out the post today, which is Friday the 8th? 9th. 9th of July. I don't know what day it is. Friday the 9th of July. Um, so, let's talk about September. First day arrangements. Your first day is going to be Tuesday the 7th of September. And well, let's talk about lunch. You, every pupil will be offered a free school dinner on that first day. So you have the option. It's up to you. You can bring in a packed lunch if you prefer. You can bring in snacks for morning if you prefer. But you have got the option to try our school dinner for free on that first day. What to bring? Not much, to be honest. Just a pencil case with the usual things. Black and blue pens, pencils, ruler, rubber, etc. You might want to bring a water bottle. You can buy one with us. Get one at lunchtime if you need to. You would prefer, if you prefer, pat lunch is fine and a snack. If you bring a phone, that is fine, but it needs to be turned off all day and we don't want to see it. But that's it, all you need to bring for the first day. Um, oh, as a, as a reading book as well, sorry, a reading book. Where to go? Thornhill Terrace is um, where our school is situated. So you don't want to arrive at the back of the school where the staff car park is. That's for staff only. You want to come to Thornhill Terrace. Um, on the morning you will see lots and lots of our pupils there, so just kind of follow the crowds really. Um, I would advise not to park on Thornhill Terrace, it gets very, very busy. If you can park in a corner, a street around the corner, there's plenty of places to park. There will be lots of staff, myself included, Miss Jones, the head of Year 7 as well, will be on Thornhill Terrace very early on in the morning to greet you, um, girls and parents and carers as well, because it, it might be a bit of an emotional moment for you all. We will greet you and tell you which gate to go in and where to go once you get into school, so you won't be expected to find your own way around. 
what are you going to do on that first day? So the first day is going to be a transition day to make up for not having one this July. And so it's no lessons. We're basically going to be in form classes all day. So you'll find out who's going to, which other girls are in your form class. Get to know each other, get to know your form tutor, get settled and get sorted. We'll give out planners, timetables, lunch cards and just get to know each other. Really that first day. So no lessons that first day. The first week, you will start your lessons on the Wednesday. Um, that first week your teachers will take you to each room, okay? So you won't be expected to find your way around the school for that first week. We will help you get to every lesson. And I think that is about all of the questions I had. If you have any more um, questions in the next week before we break up, please email inquiries at send-anthonys-academy.com and say Mrs McGann in the email. My name is M-C-G-A-N-N. So there is still time to get some answers, some questions answered, but that is it, and I'd just like to say have a lovely last week in year six, have a lovely summer holiday, it's a long one this time, and I'll see you in September, bright and early that first morning.